Hey Capricorn, so today we are going to go ahead and do your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I feel like this is a situation where there's kind of a feeling of wanting to get this certain connection sort of off the ground or to target this connection. It's like they're kind of showing me that there's um, like something spinning and we have to sort of throw the target at the right time so that it hits what we're shooting for, you know, or the target. So there's maybe something to where the situation is kind of spinning a little bit around. Um, there could be with this Nine of Swords, maybe something to do with anxieties involved. You or the person who you are connecting to. For some reason, I just heard artist really strongly. So that could just be a confirmation. Somebody here could be an artist, but of course it doesn't have to be. Uh, but there could be something about like, you know, with the writing here too. Maybe somebody is a writer or an artist. And that's just a detail associated with this here. But I feel like I'm getting also a really strong message about divinely guided together. So I think this kind of came up in the last collective love story I did too. So there's a little bit of a similar energy here, but we'll have to see what else comes up. This actually feels really like uplifting though to me. With this Ace of Wands coming up as the connection between the two of you, um, it feels like this is something which is being divinely guided. And that's why I keep hearing artist or abundance or like with the nine of pentacles here too. I'm not sure if maybe this is something to where you and this person do work together just for a few of you, or you might have like a mutual purpose together with that three of pentacles. Um, there could just be something which is very much kind of abundant about this connection or could become very abundant in the future should you be together depending on your situation. Some of you, this could be that you actually are together currently. But I just keep being shown for the viewer of this reading, there's a lot of like root chakra energy, which is why they keep drawing me back to something about like career or life purpose. So I don't know if that's just again, like a detail or a confirmation for how you'll know this is aligning with you. If you currently are in this spot right now to where you are focusing a lot on your career maybe, or you are, you know, like I said, maybe an artist or you have a vision for something and it could be attached to them or maybe it's just an inspiration for you or this is incoming to where they're going to assist you um, or you assist each other kind of on that journey of growth and abundance. But I do feel like as far as it goes with this connection between you and this person, uh, it's like I'm, I'm hearing spirits say, get off the couch or couch potato, get off the couch. So there's something to where, you know, I don't know, with the Ace of Wands here, maybe this is, you'll have to take it how it resonates, you know, as usual, there's many different people watching and many different scenarios here. It could be something to where you inspire this person and you're actually dating currently or talking and, you know, maybe you inspire them to kind of get off the couch, I guess you can say, or to get moving, or you both kind of give each other inspiration energetically right now. Um, it also could be that this is something to where somebody is being encouraged here to, you know, kind of get moving when it comes to you to not be in the fear about this connection. Because with this nine of swords at the bottom, it feels like this is out of place. It's like I'm hearing this card here doesn't fit with the rest of the cards. Like this is a very not negative, but I mean, it's a, it's different than the rest of the storyline here, which is why it's kind of like an outlier, if that makes sense. So I feel like this is meaning that something about the fear about this connection or the inability for somebody to maybe move forward or to make a move is what's sort of dampening the fire of, of this connection or the possibility of what this connection could turn into here. Um, so I feel like this person who's coming up is being connected to you. They have the Six of Swords here overall, and their thoughts and their feelings about you is the Knight of Cups. I'm seeing somebody taking out muffins from the oven, or I don't know if it's muffins or a cake or something, or like a box of donuts, something about like a sweetness here to this. So again, I don't know if it's maybe like a warmth to this connection. This is a connection which could be very warming. It has a very warm potential sort of, and that could be how this person feels about you or views you right now, um, this person who's coming up here. I'm also seeing somebody playing chess, which normally I would see that as kind of a strategic thing. I mean, it could be that this person's trying to strategize something, but I'm actually seeing for some of you, this person actually does literally play chess and that could be a confirmation. Um, or you play chess together, um, or checkers, or chess or checkers. But anyway, I feel like this person here, how they're coming up is a six of swords. 
I'm just getting such a strong feeling in this reading of like, I don't know, I just keep getting the same thing of like abundance and rainbows I'm seeing and like a feeling of freedom and liberation. So we're going to clarify and see how else this connects and what this means exactly. But the overall theme of whatever this is, is again, very uplifting, very positive. So some of you, if you already are in this kind of connection, then this would be how you know, because it's somebody who is bringing about a lot of warmth within you right now. They're showing you a side of you that you, um, you know, have been wanting to explore that side of you. It could be incoming, you know, sometimes these readings happen where I'm talking about them and then like a month or two later, they make more sense. So that could also be the case too. This could be like a new spark or an ignition of a connection again, which is going to kind of feel like it is the rainbow, like an overcoming of a hurdle and kind of brings the two of you into kind of a, a new life sort of, or a feeling of freedom or a feeling of, of love, creation, you know, things like that here. But let's get a little bit of clarity and see. So what is this <clears throat> connection here? Yeah, I'm seeing a card from another deck too. And it shows a train and it says something like love is coming, get ready. Um, or the love train is coming, something like that. So I feel like this is saying that again with the Ace of Cups here, yeah, the Fool, that also came up in the last reading. So there could be a connection to that reading if you aligned with it. The Five of Cups here. Yeah, I mean, I just keep getting the same thing. There's a feeling strongly of like, um, it's like I'm getting that there's no more, it's like Spirit saying something like no more snakes or no more games. So there's a feeling of the potential energies which previously you were tolerating or which you had met certain people which only wanted to kind of play games with you or people who kept you in this kind of loop or this connection itself, if it's between you and a specific person individually. Um, there may have been just a, just kind of like a negative cycle where it felt like it was never progressing. But I do feel there's a strong feeling here of sort of somebody breaking out of that feeling or breaking out of that, yeah, like breaking out of that, um, yeah, let's see a little bit more here. So this is my new deck here under the mistletoe oracle, let's see. What is the connection here, Spirit, between these two people? So whoever is watching, I'm also seeing a zebra. That could be a confirmation for somebody. Uh, or the animal, the symbol of a zebra could be significant. So we have snowed in. The tension of this separation is building up. We have sexy Santa. Someone's only wish this year is you. At the bottom, we have spreading joy. Giving from your heart will draw more love and light to you. And that's what I was definitely getting with the kind of undertone of this reading. It feels like some of you are doing something. I'm not sure if you're doing something in like the public eye or you're just helping people. Some of you could even be doing something where somehow you either meet this person through that or again, there's like this light behind this figure here or this person here, which represents you. This is your card of where you are, the viewer. So again, that's how you'll kind of know because you're in a very light place right now. You're in a very positive space right now. And I feel like you might either be doing something for kind of your community or you're helping this person or you're helping people or there's just something magnetic about your energy and your light right now. Um, and that's what this is saying here too with a lot of gold and energy too. But going back to this connection for what it is exactly here between you both, I feel like, um, yeah, I mean, I do feel for a lot of you, this is, there's somebody who really wants you. Okay, we have sexy Santa here and the Knight of Cups is how they're thinking and feeling about you. So this is somebody who's been really wanting you. This is aligning perfectly to the last reading too. But um, yeah, somebody who really wants you here, and I'm just getting here with this snowed in, the tension of the separation. You know, for some of you, yes, it's a separation. Some of you have been in a separation with somebody. 
and I'm seeing a lot of fear with that, like somebody who's biting their nails here, spending a lot of time alone, really feeling um, just not good about this separation. So take that how that will fit. If that's how you feel, then you know maybe you both kind of feel that way. I know not everybody will be in that situation, but for some of you, yes, it feels like with the snow and kind of going all the way up to the window here, there's been a lot of emotion stuck when it comes to a particular connection between you and this person, which has, has been building up. But let me look a little bit at this person over here. So how are they showing up with the Six of Swords? We have the World and we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I really just feel like this is somebody who, it's like their heart is telling them to go. Their heart is telling them to do it. It's like there's a strong feeling of the time is now with the world and the fool, like something to where it's almost like the fool's energy is here, the world is here, and we're kind of colliding the two together and the fool is representing the new potential of this beginning. Um, and I feel like they're kind of, it's almost like, it's almost like a bridge which is closing and you only have a few minutes to sort of jump over that bridge if you want to take this train where it's going next. And I feel like this person who's coming up is being connected to you. They have been really working on opening their heart more right now. This is somebody who's been kind of with the scarecrow here and the birds in the background similar to the Nine of Swords. I feel like they're kind of hanging by a thread when it comes to their heart being a bit closed or being um, it's like I'm seeing a lot of spirit guides around this connection actually like a lot of spirit guides around them around you it's almost like trying to egg them on or applaud them to make this move or to you know kind of bring about this message of sort of um, keep going and you'll get there kind of feeling so there's like this again I guess for most of you this definitely could be a separation okay just again take it how it'll fit it could be something new but it feels like the overall theme of whatever this separation is, is kind of like, again, we're, we're almost there. The, the bridge is closing and it's, it's time now. Uh, how to put it? Like it's time now and I feel like the healing work has already been done sort of, or there's already been a lot of progress made here. And so now all we need to do is to sort of just follow our heart. Like, you know, if that makes sense, like the work has already been done somehow or the, yeah, like the work has been done, the cycles have been closed out, whatever has been maybe preventing, for those of you, this is a separation, whatever's been preventing the two of you from kind of being together or for, from progressing this connection, it's already kind of closed. Like there's no more going back to what once happened or what the blockages once were. Even if there are physical things happening still, it may not be like it's you know all great or perfect, but even if there are still things, it's more like on a spiritual level, there's a feeling of the world being here for this individual too. And also obviously for you, because you're in a good place right now, if, if this is for you. Um, but they have karmically or energetically sort of already closed those doors. So now it's just a matter of the, 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 the physical body kind of catching up to that realization. I hope that makes sense. And I think that's really what this is saying here. And I was getting a rainbow and kind of this woman has a rainbow around her too. So I feel like there's a lot of emphasis here on colors, rainbow, kind of a feeling of putting color back into life, putting color back into this connection where it kind of at one point was dull or black and white or it didn't really have the, you know, there was too much of this pent up emotion or, um, you know, things like that going on here. So that's why I'm getting the two of you are definitely mirroring each other because for you, the viewer, with that golden light and the nine of pentacles, you also like on your own individual path, you might be finding that you are inviting in more abundance, maybe more, I'm hearing luck, maybe you just feel lighter. Maybe you feel like things are going more your way than they have in a while. And I feel like that's reflected in this other person too, who you have been connecting to. And as always, you know, with these readings, sometimes it's just an energetic thing. 
So especially if you're, I was going to say, if it's like a twin flame connection or a high level soul connection, maybe this is just something which is confirming for you where this person who you are connected to in soul is at, even if it's not aligning in the 3D. I mean, it could definitely be, but it might just be kind of like a marker for you to see where you are at and how far you've come on your own spiritual journey, which I think also kind of came up in the last reading too. So, you know, it's kind of like that too, where especially if it's like a twin flame connection you both like the whole purpose of that is to come home to yourself and to you come into union with yourself and i think that's what's happening here for you and for them and that is kind of showing you sort of how far you've come so that this new chapter can open but okay that just flew out yeah so very happy this is a time to be playful joyful and bright I keep getting that such a strong feeling of that like it's time to be I'm hearing play the lotto I don't know why I just heard that maybe somebody if you've been feeling lucky maybe you should play the lotto um, but it could, could also just be like the lottery of I don't know of the universe sort of like you the right kind of things are finding you things are clicking sort of in a feeling here and it's time to be playful and joyful and bright so with that nine of pentacles I keep seeing with the golden energy um, they keep drawing it back to you here, the viewer, and how it's time for you to be happy and bright. But let's go back and see anything more about this person who's coming up as being connected to you. Anything more? We have reach out. Yeah, it's time. Like with this snowed in, I keep getting it's time. So like I said that's the best way I can put it the bridge is closing and like I know I have to jump over that bridge to get on the same track that you're going on and I know that it's time now and I think this person especially if it's something to where obviously I think for most of this is a separation um, but if it does happen to be a new connection you can apply it that way too or even both because some of you this is again maybe something to where you have this soul connection that you've been in separation from and they're on the verge if not going to be reaching out here and it's almost like even energetically reaching out to 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 kind of um shovel the snow away so that the path can be clear so that this can actually be something with the page of cups you know this is the outcome there is going to be an offer extended there is going to be communication for some of you from this individual there's going to be something to where there's a heart opening two cups here knight of cups and the page of cups and even just for you being somebody who is magnetizing a lot of love into your life currently what is this who is this person who's coming up is connected to you I'm hearing Denver. Who is this person who's coming up is connected to the viewer? We have our song. And we also have here messages at the bottom. Give me one more here for the connection between you and this person. What is the connection? Okay, that's, I'm not going to take all those. There's too many cards. What is the connection here between you and this person? Yeah, I'm seeing two birds talking to each other. We have the phone call. So it's almost like with the reference of birds, there's so many things about messages, phone call, reach out. Um, birds can be, in this instance, I'm kind of getting it to be like telepathic communication for some of you. Um, three of cups is here too. I know birds can also be about people like not, I don't think this is gossip because I'm getting a pretty strong, like positive feeling in this whole reading here, but it could be something where, how to put it like with the magician, the three of cups, the queen of wands, it's almost like birds of the higher selves. So your higher self is communicating with their higher self. There's some chatter going on with the birds here, but it also could be that there is uh, maybe something about the community, maybe something about people talking somehow, I don't know, about you maybe, or there's, there's just a lot of activity is the way to put it with the birds. Like it's not just two birds, it's like there's many birds, but they don't have to represent many people. It's just kind of, I don't know how else, like many spirits maybe, or many, much 
much movement kind of is happening here where there's either a lot being sent kind of to you in, in the form of synchronicities. There's a lot of things being sent to your person. There's a lot of things being sent between the two of you. Just a lot of action right now. And I feel like that's what this fool is about here. And how that action is kind of tying into this whole reading is that there is somebody who really wants to talk to you, somebody who wants to be with you. Uh, and again, if not, maybe multiple people who are admiring you. Um, so definitely if you resonate with this reading and you didn't watch the last reading I did for the collective love story reading that definitely would probably connect with you as well so something about a hat this person could wear a hat a lot um, or maybe you saw a picture of them recently wearing a hat I'm going to see if we can get some of these guess who cards. And again, this won't resonate with everyone. If these details don't connect, that's okay. It does not mean that it's not for you. I'm actually going to just, I feel like there's too many here. So I'm just going to pull some here out. Anything else spirit about this reading that we need to know today? And then I'll go into how this person is feeling about you. Anything else we need to know? Any details here maybe that are coming up? It just feels like a very solid energy. Um, somebody could be someone who builds things I'm getting for someone. Maybe they work on certain projects or building something. Um, and it's almost like there's a feeling of a very steady feeling coming from this person. So again, that, that could just be their lifestyle. Maybe they're very connected to the earth. They're connected to using their hands to build things. But it also could represent kind of the stability of this connection and kind of where it's come from a storm and it's moving into some kind of calmness and tranquility now that can be more solid and stable like there's a very calming feeling about this we have extrovert so somebody could be an extrovert that could be you or could be them And that kind of goes together with the chatter of the birds. Um, there could be a lot of, again, communication somehow. We have hopeless romantic. Yeah, and that's what I'm getting with all these cups here too. Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups. We have brief encounter. Oh, there's the bridge. So some of you could have had a brief encounter with this person. That could be for a few of you. And maybe you're wondering, I'll have to go into how they feel in a second to see, but that could be the case for some of you. The name Brian somehow is coming up with that there. Anything else, Spirit? Something about a foreign country to where you are from. So maybe travels involved. We have hospitality. Somebody could be in the hospitality industry. We have same age as you, so they could be the same age as you. Again, these won't be for everyone, so don't worry about them. We have ex-friend. So it could be something about an ex-friend involved, or this person could be an ex-friend of yours. Yeah, different country. Some of you definitely, there's something about a different culture or a different country. We have healer. So you could be a healer. They could be a healer. But I'm also getting this connection is very healing. That's what I got from the beginning. Something about a rainbow healing. Someone could be athletic, maybe works out a lot. Again, I'm getting uh, maybe outdoorsy as well for someone. But yeah, very healing kind of connection to this, to this connection. And I'm getting, I'm hearing spirits say this connection will plug you back into your healing abilities. So maybe something about meeting them or coming together with them. And the Ace of Wands, you know, the Wand suit is the most spiritually connected. So there's something which is sparking this like healing to happen. So, you know, again, I don't know, reconnecting with them or energetically connecting to this person. Something is being sparked again or healed through the, through this interaction. Okay, so for, so for some, we have baby mama, baby daddy.
I'm only going to get a few more of these, and then we'll, I think we'll get more in the extended, maybe. We have Problem Solver. That's what I was getting with the chess. The, somebody could be very, you know, intelligent. Somebody could be, um, likes to play sort of mind games. Not mind games as in, like, in a bad way, but like maybe puzzles or something like that. There's also, okay, let's just get one more here. We have Dating App. So for some of you, you could have met them on a dating app. But, okay, so let's go ahead and see what is this person thinking and feeling about you? Because I want to get more detail here. So tell me about the person who's coming up as being connected here to the viewer with the Knight of Cups. What is this person thinking and feeling about you? Yeah, I'm getting somebody coughing. Um, okay. Interesting, this took an interesting turn here. We have the Devil and we have the Three of Cups. I'm gonna put something over this card and these can also be an additional message. When I pull this here, we have Honesty and then I'm gonna get one more. And we have Missing, okay. So someone, I kind of feel for some of you, this is somebody who is honestly missing you. They may want to be honest because obviously I just got a cough in my throat and then honesty came out with the devil. So this is really interesting and in how it kind of, I feel, yeah, this is interesting because I feel like this is somebody who's connected to you who obviously is missing you. If this, yeah, they miss you and I feel like they have not been honest about this and there's a strong feeling of how it's all connected to these messages, the telepathy, the birds, three of cups here. Again, I feel like for a lot of you, there's information about this that's already been reaching you. So you have, may have already been feeling this person's energy. You may have been hearing from people about them for some of you. You may have just been getting a lot of signs from spirit, from them, from their higher self. And I feel like this is definitely somebody who is feeling out of touch from you currently they feel like you're very far away from them they feel like they their only wish is you but you know this is kind of these satin sheets here and the devil so this person could be we'll get a little bit more sorry my chair is kind of squeaky but we'll get a little bit more to see but i feel like this person is definitely having a difficult time being honest with you currently um they might be withholding communication entirely from you and again, with the song here and the messages, maybe you're either hearing through, again, them, through, you're hearing either through other people about them or something about information that can help you to discern what they're feeling or even a reading like this, something which is helping to confirm this for you. And I feel like with the tension of the separations building up and the Five of Cups, whoever is connected to you, even if there happens to be two people or more than two, because some of you have to say in every reading, you know, it could be that you have, you don't want to be involved with this anymore. You might want new love. And if that's the case, then you can kind of take the messages that have come up earlier that you are on the right path, that there is love finding you. But there's definitely somebody who's connected to you currently who... Um, I'm seeing somebody could either drink a lot for some or they're just stumbling. That could just be how spirit showing it. But I just saw somebody kind of stumbling around trying to move, trying to talk. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Um, so they either have been maybe with the devil here. There's a little bit of maybe intoxication of some level or moving from a space of a little bit of instability, but, but, but having a hard time showing that or, or saying that. But even if they don't drink, it's just something to where energetically they're stumbling, if that makes sense. With this Ace of Swords here, and here's the Queen of Wands and the Hanged Man, I feel like this is somebody who's very drawn to you. And with this kind of figure meditating here, there's a feeling of like they have been, it's almost like they've been encouraged to go within to figure this out and to strategize with that problem solver. You know, maybe they have been somebody who has been um, yeah, there is problem solver trying to solve a problem with this, trying to sort of figure out the solution when it comes to you. But I feel like spirit's trying to encourage them to go within to figure that out because their outward appearance is stumbling with that, you know, so they, they might just be having a hard time translating what's inside to the outside kind of feeling. And I feel like with the cough reference, this person could be having a bit of a blocked throat chakra here. This is something very secretive here with the high priestess. It's something which 
Yeah, two of swords and the moon, very secretive. This is somebody who is, um, I'm hearing I just can't do enough or I can't say enough or I can't do enough right now. So yeah, this is kind of like, it feels like this is somebody who doesn't seem like they have something either they, they feel like they don't have enough to sort of offer to you or they feel somehow there's like a block to this let's get a little bit more and see something to where it's like it's not enough even though i want it to be enough or what is this person thinking and feeling about you the knight of cups whoever is coming up is being connected to you what is this person thinking and feeling about you because there's definitely like a strong frustration coming in from this person and with the two cards, the moon and the high priestess are both like very secretive cards. There's a very secretive energy coming from them where they almost feel like, you know, they have to sort of find you through the veil. Like they are trying to search for you, but something makes them feel like they, again, they can't do enough right now. Or I don't know what this, let's see, how are they thinking and feeling about you? We have new beginning and we have seduced and there's a card that flew in the ground. We have reunion, yeah. And at the bottom here, we have karmic partner. So, hmm. what is this person thinking and feeling about you? What is this person thinking and feeling about you? The hanged man. I mean, obviously with the new beginning here in the fool and the reunion, that's what we had earlier. This is somebody who does want to have a reunion with you. They, I hear, I'm, I'm hearing I keep stopping myself. And when I was trying to say that, I was felt I felt stopped myself. Like right now, I feel stopped with talking. So this person could be trying to stop themselves. Like with the hanged man, there's that resistance again coming up to where it's like trying to get that message through or trying to move. So what's blocking this here? What is the block or what is the, I don't know, four of cups? The Nine of Swords again. Yeah, I'm just getting a lot of fear. Again, with the Four of Cups here and the Snowed In card, I'm, I'm hearing something about when the leaves fell or when the leaves fall. So it could have been in the fall season, something may have happened. For some of you, maybe you met in the fall or there's just something about the fall somehow that where things began to take a turn maybe or things... You know, that's what we had in the beginning. Uh, and I, th I forgot what I said in the beginning, but there was something about fear holding somebody back, but spirit trying to urge somebody to move forward with it. So I do think the person who's coming up is being connected to you. I'm hearing, yeah, it's like they keep changing the channel. Like I'm tuning into them, but then I'm getting somebody take a remote and say like, I don't want to talk about this. Let's change the channel. There's a lot of avoidance here. Even though they are feeling these things, they're trying to run from them. They're trying to hide from them, I feel. They're trying to avoid what they really feel. So it's almost like we're tapping in here to their higher self and to their truth behind the mask kind of feeling. Um, and I feel like, yeah, give the situation some more time to come around. The chemistry is off the charts in this connection. So this is a very highly charged connection. This is definitely something to where either you had an instant with Ace of Wands, you know, if you met recently, for example, but you haven't heard from them or there's, it's just like they have definitely been, they've definitely felt the connection in a, in a very strong way with the, with the synergy here. But it's like with the coughing reference to, again, there's sort of a feeling of like, I can't seem to do enough to get to you. Or for some of you, yes, there is a third party here. Okay, that won't be for everyone, but for, well, if you do resonate with this reading, I think for a lot of you, even if there does happen to be more than one option for you in love, the person who's, there is one person who I feel does have a third party attached to them, 
or they have a third energy kind of hanging in this connection, something which is causing the cough, something which is causing the feeling of resistance from actually speaking that truth. But Spirit's saying here, and we'll get more in the extended to see more about their intentions, what they want to say to you, what they're hiding from you. But um, I definitely feel like this is a strong connection in terms of the desire to come together. For some of you with the seduced here and the devil, again, they could be wanting something with you physically, or you could have had a connection like that physically already. And yeah, it's just, there's that avoidance though, for some reason of avoiding this connection or trying to avoid what does this person want with you? Again, we'll look more at that, but let me just see. What do they want with you? Yeah, I just keep... Why, why, why do they keep showing me somebody falling? I keep seeing someone falling, stumbling. Can you see through my soul? Yeah, this is very interesting because it feels like a connection where... Again, the connection between you both is very deep on a soul level. But they're trying to sort of run... From it or they're trying to run from what they feel with you on that deep soul level and they keep stumbling with this it's such a mysterious kind of energy what do they want with you what does this person want with you i feel you reeling me in i thought i could trust you what do they want with you They want, I feel like this person does, to be honest, I feel like a lot of what they want here is driven by, for some of you, it could just be very a very physical feeling, okay? They could be drawn to the physical part of this connection. You'll kind of know if that's for you. It doesn't mean that it's only about that. But I do feel like part of it is that they do feel that, again, they're trying to hide, they're trying to numb this out, and they're trying to avoid what they really feel. With the lines here, too, it's like part of them is awakening to this, or part of them wants this, but then it's like the ego versus the heart right now. And so I feel like this person is, that's why they're having a hard time being honest. And there's a lot of mixed up energy with this person's mind and heart right now. Um... Again, they're bringing me back to something about abundance once again. So I don't know why suddenly I was drawn back to this Nine of Pentacles. So I don't know if maybe for some of you, maybe you offer a road which would be much more abundant than kind of something about their life currently that could be. Or I, I don't know why that came in just suddenly like that. I'm not sure we have you haunt my heart and I'm not the one that you remember. What do they want here with you? Yeah, this person is very stubborn though, I will say. They're very stubborn. I feel like there's just a lot of feelings of this is very sharp or like the, the this could be very sharp in terms of the words could hurt or the situation could turn out of hand kind of. It, it's that kind of feeling here. One more card for what they want here with you, and then I'll get a few message cards. But what does this person want with you? What do they want with you? Yeah, I do feel for a lot of you this could be a twin flame connection or a very strong spiritual connection. And it's like they know that they have to with uphold their level of this this kind of contract. And I feel like I feel like they really want to. That's the thing. It's almost like somebody who's trying to hold on. That's why I set up there in the, in the with the world, the Six of Swords. So it makes better sense when you put it all together. I feel like this is somebody whose heart is like really trying to hold on to you. And they're really trying, on a soul level at least, they really have this strong passion for you. They could be a fire sign or they could have fire in their chart. They don't have to. But they, they have this strong desire for you, strong passion for you, strong chemistry, strong connection. But it's more than just like a physical connection. It's something which goes much deeper on the soul level. And I feel like their heart right now is like 
again, like I said with the bridge reference, like they are almost at the point of taking the jump on that bridge and they feel like there's a part of them that is still, you know, maybe is still denying parts of this connection, even though there's been these slivers of light coming in to where they've been able to see the connection for what it is. And I feel like on a soul level, they... I'm seeing somebody falling asleep and then somebody waking them up like no wake up and then they're falling asleep and then you say wake up like you know how if you if somebody's not um feeling well they're, they're supposed to stay awake you know it's something like that i'm getting to where i feel like that spirit kind of shaking them like don't fall asleep again wake up so i feel like they've been trying to tell themselves that from like a higher self level um i don't know if they're aware of this depends on how connected they are to their to, the, to their spiritual side but i do feel like the, on a on a higher self level and even like spirit guides around this connection are trying to sort of keep this person awake so that so that they don't fall asleep again which could mean a variety of things it could be so that they don't miss this opportunity again with you so that they don't miss this lifetime opportunity with you um And, and I feel like that's making sense with the beginning of the reading too, with the healing and the rainbow and the fool. It's like this connection's ready to take, um, it's ready to hop onto a new, it's, it's ready to move into a new sort of phase here of your connection, which I feel is the connection of maybe a union or the connection of sort of with the world, you know, um, Again, I don't know, like, here's the opportunity. If you want to take it, here, here's the opportunity. And I know this has been coming up, too, so it kind of reflects a few of the previous um, collective readings, too. But this feels a little bit more urgent. Let me see what they want to say to you here. And then, again, we'll get more later in the extended. But... What does this person want to say to you? I feel like they have a lot to say to you, I'm actually hearing. So there could be a lot of message cards that will come up later too, but they have a lot to say. And that's, again, the reference of the coughing, the honesty, the missing. Like they have a lot to say. It almost feels like overwhelming. Like this could be somebody with the tension of the separations building up. You know, maybe they have maybe they've kind of held this in for a very long time or they it's kind of like with the the lights coming in here too again if you shine a flashlight on the parts of you that you stuffed away and you you don't have any choice but to pull it out kind of and to talk about it or to release it from your system kind of feeling and i feel like that's what this person is getting to the point of like needing to do that they feel like there's so much that they want to say to you, like there's an overwhelming amount of things that they want to say. And that could be the reference where they keep stumbling because they don't know how to say this in a clear way or they don't, or they feel like it's just too much to say. Like they're very overwhelmed. I feel like they're very swamped in kind of their own emotions right now. So if this is somebody who's been, you know, kind of keeping their distance a little bit from you, or they have been, like you've been feeling this energy, but they haven't actually said so. I think it's because they're trying to, with the writer I mentioned in the beginning too, they could even be trying to write things down, maybe sort with the problem solver, you know, sort out their feelings. Maybe they, maybe they do take a more logical approach naturally. They could be a bit more logical, logically minded, or they could just have like a lot of masculine energy to where even if they don't do it physically, like they couldn't, maybe they don't sit down and actually write it down. They could be, but even just like mentally, it's like they're trying to, um, I don't know, like they're trying to, it's coming up so strange. It's like trying to take an Excel sheet and like, okay, how do I handle all of this? What is the best way? I think they're just very overwhelmed. Like I just keep getting a very overwhelming feeling from them. Maybe they're not used to their emotions like this, or maybe they're not used to like a soul connection, or maybe they kind of woke up to something, you know? And it's like, now that I woke up to this, I can't, I, I wanna go back to sleep, but I can't now because spirit's not letting me go back to sleep. 
but what do I do with all of these things, you know? And that's what the reference I keep getting of like numbers and Excel sheets, like maybe they're trying to go, they're trying to basically just figure this out because they're not somehow used to it or they don't know what this means. So in the only way that they know how to do it, they need time sort of, you know, to come around in a way that can give you like a, like an explanation for all of this but they want to sort it out first. Like they want to sort out what this means kind of first or what they feel first so that so that they can present it so so that they can present it in a in a in a better way. Yeah, everything is crashing down. Nothing is as it seems. We have here I run away when things are good. Sorry. And then we have here ghost. It was easier until it got a little deeper. Yeah, this person, they definitely have some issues. So again, I don't know. We'll look also in the extended to see for those of you who are maybe wanting to talk about new love because I felt like it kind of started that way, but then it quickly changed into, into this when we got into this person's feelings. So either this has just been about them the whole reading or some of you, this is again, just kind of a soul connection, like a twin flame connection. I feel for a lot of you coming in here in the background to just give you answers that you need that can help you right now on your own healing journey because that's what these connections are for but i feel like this person does have a lot of issues they have a lot of issues running away um they have a lot of issues again and it's like they can't really run away from it much longer though it's like they're trying to run away from it but they can't seem to totally run away from it here any anymore and that's also the reference i got before with the world of like um I think I said something like the work has already been done, but now they have to physically catch up to that with the Six of Swords. So I feel like, again, the reference of them not falling back asleep, it's already done. Like they've already, something already happened here to where that version of them already kind of died. So they're trying to go back to that though. have I feel like I'm drowning you're killing me slow patience shed a tear because I'm missing you yeah they're definitely missing you I'm gonna get a few more message cards and then I'm gonna look here at the outcome let's roll some dice to see if there's any more confirmations maybe of this person's dominant zodiac sign um, again, these won't be for everyone, but let's just see if this could serve as any confirmation. So Spirit, is there any, maybe their sun sign, whoever this person is, for the viewers watching. We have Gemini. We have Libra. We have Scorpio. We have Aries, and let's get one more. And we have Virgo. But again, those don't all have to resonate. It doesn't mean that they could just have that somewhere in their chart. Okay, so I'm gonna get a few of these and then I'll get a few more message cards. And then, is there anything else spirit about this? We have close. So this is very close again to happening. The bridge is, the, the bridge is closing. They could also wanna be very close to you maybe. We have lies. Yeah, so I'm saying they do have a lot of issues. I feel like they could be lying to themselves or they've drowned themselves in lies here. We have exposed. So for some of you, this person's lies could be exposed. No. Archangels. So this is on top of the, can you see through my soul? So again, there could be a lot of uh, angelic protection right now for you. Maybe a lot of angels around this connection trying to get this person to, again, wake up. We have engaged. So take these details, how they will resonate. I don't know if somebody is engaged or has gotten engaged. We have hometown. Somebody could be from the hometown. Turn around, angry. 
So I feel like with this, everything's crashing down. Again, this person may have made the wrong choice maybe, or they feel like they've made the wrong decision. They're angry with themselves. There could be a lot of anger and lies. Again, there is a lot of issues with this person, a lot of issues with speaking their truth. So if they have been, you know, if you felt like they've been withholding information from you, or if they haven't told you these things verbally, there definitely is an issue with them being honest. And it's like, this is killing them slowly too. This whole thing is feeling very frustrating like that. We have families, there could be family pressures, children, you know, family maybe. We have weight and we have school. So school is on top of, so for someone specific, if you're going back to school, that's the right thing to do. Because something with your abundance, again, nine of pentacles, something with you is very positive right now. But this person could be waiting to the right time, or this is right now is a no, but to wait. We have citrine, so that could be a citrine crystal, something about confidence, abundance, again, coming up here. We have, yeah, a lot of telepathy. This is somebody who you've been communicating with telepathically quite a bit. We have stalking, and we have blue, which again, throat chakra. Um, there is something with that Nine of Pentacles. Remember I mentioned before, something uh, stuck out to me and I said something to where you were admired for what you're doing or for something with your abundance. I don't know what that is. Maybe some of you, I'm not saying this person's stalking you. It just could be like energetically stalking you or because I'll get a few cards for you here in a second. We have not for you. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I feel like yellow and blue, so throat chakra, solar plexus. I do feel like, again, I want to get a little bit of confirmation before I confirm that, but we have one week. So for some of you, this person, something could happen within the next week. Actually, I got some timing cards here too. Something could happen within a week. I don't know if it's that they're going to tell you that they miss you. Uh, they've been getting a lot of signs about you, which again, they've been trying to change the channel, ignore that. Which was the other one here? Voice. So again, something about your voice or wanting to talk with you. Let me get the final message cards and then we'll look at the outcome and what you need to know. Okay, so when I grab these message cards at the bottom here, we do have I daydream about a life with you. So yeah, it's like, I think intuitively what I'm getting with this reading though, is that it kind of feels like this is something that it's like, again, this person will have to either do something about it or it's kind of a lost cause, you know, or they're currently, there's a lot of complication with this. And I, I still don't know here what the kind of outcome or what they're going to do about this is. We do have the page of cups though for the outcome. So Again, I don't want to make this way too long because there's a lot more to talk about, but I want to go into that in the extended, but let's just see if there's anything here that they want to say to you, anything more, and then we'll look at the outcome. So is there anything more, Spirit, that this person wants to say to the viewer? Is there anything more that this person wants to say about their thoughts, their feelings? What do they want to say here? I don't know. I don't want to know. What does this person want to say here to you? I want you back. I don't know how to feel. Again, they're very confused. They don't know how to feel. They do. Obviously, they did definitely want you back. I feel so happy with you. And I feel like with that coughing again, with the I feel so happy with you, it's like for some reason this person has a hard time just admitting that they feel happy with you or that you do make them very happy. Yeah, there's a lot of sexual tension here. Definitely. I feel like this person, if you have been intimate physically before, I don't know if uh, YouTube will block that or, or not, but um, if you have been physically intimate, I think that again, that could be like a big driving force for this person, especially if you have not seen each other for a while. 
And again, with the devil, you know, that's why it's kind of like a little bit maybe of a warning from spirit because for some of you, they could be involved or they could just be not completely available, even though that that's like the tipping, the, the tipping scales here, they have to do something about it. But for some, it's like if they choose to avoid it because they need security, because they might need to still hang on to things that are giving them a false sense of security, then that could be why, yes, they want you back. But, you know, again, there might be some kind of warning signs with that maybe for some of you, unless they can, unless they're able to, you know, pierce through that and to, to, to move through that here. I feel like this person, I was getting so much about text messages here and yeah, so they could even be looking at your messages. Yeah, I was getting writing. They could be maybe even trying to compose a message to you or journaling about you somehow. And then either wanting to send it or they could actually send it. Let me see the outcome here in just a second. But I daydream about a life with you again. Yeah, so much like daydreaming and fantasizing about you currently. Yeah, for some, that won't be for everyone, but for some of you, they could be in a relationship. If that is something that resonates with you, I'm not financially stable and we have, I am recovering. So, okay, so what does the viewer need to know here, Spirit? We have the Page of Cups for the outcome. Can you give us a clear message about what does the viewer need to know about what's next here? What does the viewer need to know about what's next? Yeah, I'm getting like a, a split, like two different choices that you'll have to make. So for some of you, it could be two people, could be, you know, just a choice between your past versus your any future love. With the page of um, cups here, there is definitely something which will present itself to you, I do feel, for a lot of you. Yeah, at the bottom, we have a message from a long lost friend or lover. You've got mail. So we have so much about that. So this person definitely could be reaching out to you very soon, or you might hear something through the grapevine. I can't remember if that came up in the last reading or not, but what is the outcome here for the viewer? What does the viewer most need to know, Spirit? What does the viewer most need to know? I'm seeing a pair of swans, and there's one, you know how like swans can represent a twin flame connection? There's one swan here, but the other swan's missing. He's all the way over here. So I feel like Spirit's saying that, again, something really wants to come together. Some type of union wants to come together, but if this person's going to, you know, be the missing swan, that's that's their choice that's their free will here and i feel like that's kind of where i feel some of you are going to be getting the answer to that question you know with the page of cups here but there could be some there's two birds here two two white birds so there is something about like the other half of your soul you know or you coming home to yourself okay i don't even remember putting that back <laughs> but here it is again is there maybe two cards or I guess I might have put it back or maybe I maybe there's a double card in there of that things will begin to improve in this relationship final touch so yeah I mean with the page of cups I do feel spirit is saying something will improve here's this card again so I guess I did put them back giving from your heart will draw more love and light to you there's so much emphasis on that here for the viewer so if anything I think you need to know that whatever you're doing right now to spread your love your light if you're putting yourself out there, if you're, you know, I don't know, just I'm getting something about like charity or donations for some of you. Maybe you're doing something to where you're helping others in need or you are, or just being a light somehow to the world. I feel like that's that's the that's the path here that's actually attracting so much to you. Um, an upcoming event will be a good time to mingle. So yeah, that's why there's another message here too for the Page of Cups. Some of you who are single and you don't want to be attached to this person, there could be an event coming up that maybe in Christmas time um, to where you will be admired. You could be meeting new people, friends, things like that. Maybe even with the Nine of Pentacles, something with your career, putting yourself out there, your business will you know progress maybe, something like that I feel. And I feel like that could be the outcome that Spirit wants you to know. Harmony, joy, and laughter will be restored in your home. So a lot of positive energy for you. Anything else, Spirit, about the outcome of this connection that we're talking about here in this reading? Anything else about the outcome, please, with the Page of Cups?
yeah, at the bottom we have this connection has a lot of potential, but you need to get to know this person at a deeper level as there are things that you have yet to discover. And so that's kind of what we've been getting in the reading too, where it feels like there's more to learn or to explore about this person. We also have here pressures from external parties are creating a barricade between this connection. These situations have been created to learn necessary karmic lessons and must be broken free from for this connection to progress. So we kind of already saw that. I do feel for a lot of you, these are third party influences that have still been around the connection. Yeah, so more than one pathway is available for you. So that's really what I'm getting here. Um, so we'll have to look more because I don't I really don't want this to be super long, but we'll look at it more in the extended. Let me get one more tarot card here to see what is the outcome between you and this person and the situation. Five of Pentacles and Judgment. So right right away when those cards flew out with the Queen of Wands, I kind of got a feeling of like this was their loss kind of feeling. Um here's the light coming down upon you as well. Many of you are in a really good spot and you're going to be in a really good space. And I think that I'm getting so much of this person who's looking for you, searching for you um, with the stalking. I mean, I do think for some and your intuition will have to tell you what that is for you and if that resonates, but there could even be like an obsession here or like too much emphasis on you or too maybe even like somebody who's trying too hard to get through to you or they will maybe be into that energy um, if they're not available kind of, you know. And I feel like it's definitely like a sense of sort of they're searching for you, you know, under that mushroom here and raining. They're like searching for you. They're search searching for your light. And again, I guess it kind of remains to be seen what they're going to do about that if they're going to withhold kind of their level of this situation. I'm just hearing that it's like, you know, you know how to take care of yourself. You know, you know what your spiritual life is about and you know how to protect yourself. You know how to live a life of freedom. This person hasn't learned that or they're in the they're in the deep process right now of learning that not everything is, you know, like with the matrix and it's like there's something to where they're kind of stuck in that life. Um, and I feel like it's their lesson here now that they're kind of going through a bit of a dark night of the soul. Maybe they're going through a lot of tough realizations about things that they chose and daydreaming about you while in this either other connection or just realizing that they made wrong decisions, wrong choices. And um, you over here, though, on the other side of it are kind of like, the complete opposite you've already been through this and you've already you've already exited that and you've already you're far ahead here in that way and that's why spirit's saying that kind of your light is helping this soul helping them to grow from this and helping them to show the way but ultimately if they're showing you red flags and if they are not willing if they're willing to change and that's a different thing but if they're only going to be stalking you or pulling on you just because they're not happy with their decisions that they made, that's where you might need to have, you know, a boundary with this connection. But some of you, there, you know, things will improve. They will maybe come forward. There will be a, um, a change in direction here, which they will get to the point of, you know, with, like I said, with the world, the heart chakra, they really only have, you know, the, they have a chance to do so here if they if they're willing to take it. Yeah, but right now, let go of control issues free yourself, which I think you've already done. And I think it's their turn to free themselves from the things that you already, you already did that. You already freed yourself from all of that. And now it's their choice here and their turn. So it really does kind of feel like the tables have completely turned in this situation. So I'm going to pull from our bowl here. Um, these do not have to resonate if they do not fit with you. Actually, I'm going to get one more timing card. Well, actually, we'll do that in the extended. I'll get some timing in the extended here. So in the extended, we're going to see um, this person here, definitely more about them, what's going on in their life right now. I want to look at that and then also see more about what they're feeling about you. They have a lot to say, so I will get a few message cards, quite a few of those. We'll see 
why they're pulling on you, what the point of that kind of is, what's going to transpire in the next one to two months. Um, we'll get some timing and then we'll get some information, you know, as always about just kind of advice for you moving forward on this path. But let's go ahead and pull from the bowl. So if these don't fit, then it's okay. It doesn't mean that it's not for you. They're just going to be specific for a few people who need an extra confirmation. Um, and you may want to turn down the volume. It can be very loud. So we have Christy, we have Juan, Yolanda, Lauren, Linda, Leslie, David, Angela, Angel, so those names, Angela, Angel, those are significant. We have Isha, Simon, Mia, Kavita, Latanya, Maria, Kristen, with a spelled like that with a Y. Judy, Helen, Tamara, Jenny with an I, Nira, Alicia, Astrid, Courtney, Levi, Ava and that's it for names and then we have here Greece, New York City, Tokyo, Wyoming, Australia and then we have life path number 11, life path number 7, we have teacher, Aquarius, Sun, dating, divorced, and third party. So yeah, I do think there's a third party here for a lot of you. Someone could be divorced. Again, you could be dating them. Someone knew you're dating, however that could connect. But I will go over to the extended now. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that this reading could resonate. Definitely let me know if it does. I'd love to hear. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.